Good morning, guys. This is Dr. Lee with another Daily Derm Path Made Easy. This case uh, I posted a few days ago on Facebook and it seemed like most people got the answer. This is a classical case of nodular capacity sarcoma. We don't see this too often nowadays because since the widespread use of antiviral treatments, <clears throat> um, HIV and AIDS have gone down dramatically. Um, unfortunately, there are still some people <clears throat> that have uh, the disease. So uh, most of these tumors are, you know, regardless of whatever type of form, there's a few different forms. Um, but regardless, most of these tumors are associated with human herpes virus 8. Briefly, the uh, sort of morphologies here, this is a sort of from DermNet and Capacity sarcoma goes through these various phases, um, and this one here is the patch phase. You can see that it's a it's an area here that is larger than one centimeter. It doesn't seem to be raised yet. And over here, you start seeing that this is slightly a, a raised lesion now, and it looks probably greater than one centimeter. This is typical appearance. You have multiple kind of erythematous plaques. Um, that always tips you off that something something is abnormal. And here's another classical picture on the lower extremity. <clears throat> another lesion here. And finally, you know, down here we have more of a nodular form. And you can see at the tip off is you have multiple lesions that are <clears throat> um, obviously vascular given the uh, red to sort of pink to red blotchy appearance. So coming back to our slide. So as you can see, this is a lifted nodule. And in the center of the nodule, we see a <clears throat> sort of a, a very purple, very cellular lesion. <clears throat> and you can make out that there is some red cell extravasation and some, probably some blood vessels going through there. And it's sort of surrounded by a, a, a area of fibrosis and probably some cr chronic inflammation in there. <clears throat> so we come to higher power, You can see that these are very hyperchromatic cells, and when you come closer up, you can see that these cells are sort of arranged almost parallel to each other. It's hard to really make out endothelial lumens, um, especially in some areas, but on a cross-sectional view, you can see that there are at least some red cell extravasation, and even out here, you can see some larger dilated vessels. In nodular form, you don't, we do not see the, <clears throat> um, the prominentory sign as well. And the promontory sign, again, is the sort of growth of a vessel within a pre-existing vessel. And that's usually a good tip off for um, plaque and patch stage. We can see that there. Um, here you can see some mitotic figures. So pretty hyperchromatic cells that are running parallel to each other with a vague hint of vascular nature because of all the red cell extravasation. In fact, that's the biggest clue when I tell our trainees that if you see a vascular lesion that has hemorrhage and red blood cell extravasation, you know, always be concerned that you're not missing a subtle capacies or angiosarcoma. There's some scattered plasma cells in here, and you know if you scan around, there's probably you know there's some lymphocytes and plasma cells all the way up here. So again, this tumor is um, HHV8, which is the the virus human humans herpes virus eight. Is the causative organism. So these can be treated by treating the HIV and the lesions will go away, but it's never entirely cured. They do come back, so don't be surprised if um, you get a patient who knows exactly what they have. So again, um, you can see more here, this sort of extravasated red cells, vague kind of vascular flavor to this tumor. Um, it's not the ugliest of tumor, it's just very cellular. You get some scattered mitotic figures. And if there is ever a diagnostic challenge, there is an immunohistochemical stain, HHVA, which will be diffusely positive in all capacity sarcoma. So again, this is a capacity sarcoma. This is the nodular phase. You can see it's making a nodule. And the defining features of the lesion are hypercellular, hyperchromatic uh, vessels. Hard to make out that there's vessels, but you know, you do get the hint that there are some endothelial lumens here um, and red cell extravasation outside of the tumor cells. Uh, the tumor cells sort of run parallel to each other. And that's really it.
this has all helped you guys. um, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends.